So people on the internet are slamming Shirley Strawberry for defending her husband Ernesto after he was arrested on multiple charges, including S.A., and Shirley decided to attack his victims. Let me say this, that wasn't funny. No. It's, it wasn't funny what she was but saying. But everyone's not, gonna have their own opinion every, on it. But, if but no, it's, it's not even kids. that. It's not, she's, no one's laughing. But everyone's but gonna get offended. Saying. People are finding it wild that Shirley is not only choosing to stick by Ernesto even after he got exposed, but she is out here begging the courts to release him to her. Listen, talk about an embarrassment. Okay, so Shirley Strawberry's life is a hot mess right now because her husband Ernesto Williams is facing some really big criminal charges and might be headed to prison for them. Even even worse, word on the streets is that Shirley might have known about this and probably even helped him to cover his tracks for some time now. Yeah, it's a really, really bad situation. But the thing about their relationship is that it has been covered with red flags from the very beginning. Because listen, there has been so much going on in their relationship. Ernesto and Shirley were introduced to each other by Steve Harvey. And a lot of people feel like this is a major red flag because y'all know how people feel about Steve Harvey. Harvey's matchmaking. Apparently, people have zero faith in Steve's matchmaking skills, and this case between Shirley and Ernesto only helps to prove their point. Now, one moment that made people scratch their heads um, in confusion was when Ernesto called into Shirley's um, radio program with Steve Harvey to propose to her on air, and she couldn't even recognize his voice. Just be quiet for a second. Let, let, let me ask you a question. The woman that you about to ask me this question about, do you love her? Yeah. Okay then, Shirley. Yes. This your man right here. <gasps> what? It's a mess though. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh -oh. At the time, some people found it kind of cute, but now that we're watching it again, it's kind of weird that she wouldn't recognize her man's voice. It kind of makes you wonder if Shirley knew this man that well or not, or if she even knew what she was getting herself into. And listen, when I tell you that there was a lot going on with Ernesto, y'all better believe it because this man has a very long history of criminal activity. He has some criminal charges that go way back to the 1980s, as well as felonies for more than 20 years now. It kind of makes you wonder why Steve would set up Shirley with Ernesto knowing his past. And again, this is why people don't trust his matchmaking skills. But anyway, according to insiders, Shirley knew about Ernesto's colorful past, but she was confident that it was all in the past and that he had turned over a new leaf. They got married and for a while, it looked like Ernesto had really turned his life around. He opened up a barbershop in Atlanta that catered to big names and celebrities as well as as his private security firm that provided unarmed security. So yeah, it looked like Shirley had made an honest man out of him and he had indeed turned over a new leaf. But it turns out that this new Ernesto was just a cover up cause Mans was still running scams on the low. He got exposed last year when he was busted by authorities for running a million dollar fraud scheme. And it turns out that he was still the same man with a shinier suit. According to reports, 57 year old Ernest Williams and 46 year old Erica King convinced people to pay them for their business expertise. They would align themselves with their victims with promises to be able to grow their brands, their missions, their life goals, their social media followings. So it kind of sounded like Ernesto, or should I say Ernest, was running a scam with a woman named Erica that they pretended to be like life coaches or something like that, which is a common scam these days. But then once the clients paid, Ernesto and Erica dropped them like a hot potato and never Never provided the services. Investigators claimed that they had scammed more than a dozen people for over $1 million. And y'all wanna know the wild thing about all this? It's the fact that none of the clients had even come forward to sue or even accuse Ernesto and Erica. The only reason the police busted them was that they were investigating a case of rental fraud against Ernesto. Ernesto and Erica had a house right next door to the one he shared with Shirley. And after he stopped making his rental payments for four months, the owner of the house filed a complaint to the courts for rental fraud. And once investigators started looking into Ernesto's financials, they found a huge can of worms that soon bust wide open. And this is what eventually led to his and Erica's arrest for fraud. Oh. Police say their investigation first started at this home on Pine Grove Road months ago. Investigators say after Williams and King hadn't paid rent for a while, detectives started looking into their financial transactions. 
and it led them to their extensive scheme. Okay, so this is where things start to get juicy. Get your teacups. Now, y'all know I said that people believe that Shirley knew about Ernesto's colorful activities? Well, it turns out that a couple of months ago before all this went down, Shirley took Ernesto's name off the house that she owns in California. So what this basically means is that if Ernesto loses everything to criminal charges, Shirley is protected because her house cannot be classified as one of his assets. But anyways, after all this went down and Ernesto was arrested, he was booked on five counts of conspiracy to commit a felony. Two of the charges were later dismissed and his bond was set for $15,000. He was also booked on three additional charges of theft by taking operation of credit repair services and theft by deception. And like scamming money from people who were trying to build a business wasn't bad enough, he was also already scamming established business owners. According to court documents, Documents. On the 18th day of November 2021, did by deception and with intent to avoid payment, knowingly obtain car repair services of a value of more than $1,500, but less than $5,000, which were available only for compensation from Palmer Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, and for which the accused failed to pay. Yeah, once a scammer, always gonna be a scammer, apparently. But if you thought that that drama was messy, well, hold on to your heads because it gets downright disturbing from here. So y'all know how the police work. Once they find something, they're going to keep looking for other things. And that's exactly what happened to Ernesto. Once they found out about his scamming activities, they started looking into him long and hard and they found a lot of more disturbing things. He was caught with some very sensitive and improper images and videos relating to children, if you know what I mean. Yeah, this is just very creepy, but it gets even worse from here because he was also accused of essaying nothing less than 11 minors and he has been ordered to stay away from his victims, families and associates and if that's not bad enough his victims included Shirley's own daughter her only child and even worse not only did he essay Shirley's daughter, but he also essayed the daughter's two kids as well. Listen, what is going on? It's even creepier because he has also been ordered to stay away from any and all animals. And this is kind of suggesting that he either was being abusive to animals or he was doing some improper things with the animals. This is crazy. But then as some fans have pointed out, being cruel to animals is unlikely to get him a lifetime ban from animals. And it's just messed up and so many ways. Now you would think that Ernesto essaying her daughter and granddaughters would be more than enough reason for Shirley to dump him, right? Well wrong, because she is determined to stick by this man. In fact, not only is she sticking with him, but she is also begging the courts to release him to come home to her. According to court documents, Shirley said, I have been told that in one or more of the cases pending for the court, I have been identified as either a victim of his or witness to a purported criminal act of his, to which I responded that I am neither. It is my intention that the court know that I wish for him to be released with no conditions as regards to me, that I wish for him to be able to reside with me or wherever he elects to reside and that his release be effectuated immediately. Yeah, this is just nasty business, but she basically just denied any knowledge of him essaying her child or her grandchildren. And she would rather stay with the scammer who couldn't be around kids or dogs than protect her own dignity. And I think that says a lot about the type a person that she is. Well, fans, of course, have been slamming her online, saying things like, a person that could stay with a man that is not allowed to be around her daughter and grandchildren or something else. Whatever reason she has is unacceptable. Very sad matter. When a person touches a child and the wife stands by him, she is just as sick. Both of them need to be canceled. And like most, I was shocked and sickened to hear the details of Ernest Williams' extensive criminal history and alleged pending pedo charges. Shirley's response to the court is just so disappointing. But I need to know what y'all think about this situation. Do you think that Shirley was truly unaware of Ernesto's criminal activities or do you think that she's a big fat liar? What do you think she's going to do with Ernesto back at her house? Hmm, let me know what you think about this in the comments and then check out this next video.